So I'll start with uh, in single coil mode. So where I usually operate um, with coils tapped. I'll start on the clean channel, go through the different three channels, and then I'll go through them again with humbuckers to give you an idea of some of the tones that the amp can do. At least some of my favorites. So clean tone. Nice kind of a jangly clean tone. Crystal clear on the clean channel. Uh, I don't really use the push that much because I've got a blues driver on my pedal board that I like for. The, the crunch type tones. Uh, I like it a lot better, so. I use it, and then I've got the full tone that I use for, you know, some. tones and things. Uh, channel 2, the uh, vintage distortion channel. Really good vintage distortion. I, I think I really like the way it sounds. Channel 3, the modern distortion channel. Pretty good modern distortion tones. Um, that's all with single coils. That one probably sounds better with humbuckers. I guess depending on what kind of style you like, amp can pretty much do all of it. interested in the pedal board. I've got the um, blues driver. Some nice kind of crunch effects. That can get a lot dirtier than that, but I pretty much leave it there. I think that's kind of the sweet spot on it. Um, I've got the full tone on there for a little bit of a different... different effect. It's got the, the boost on it for a little bit of a gain boost. So you can get a little bit more gain out of it for solos or whatever you want. It's a great pedal. Um, had a tuner here. I pulled it off. I'm going to replace it with a TC Electronics tuner. Um, new one they just came out with it. I think it's a lot cooler. Uh, the Ernie Ball Wah pedal. I've tried a lot of different wah pedals and I've sort of settled on this one. I really like the way it sounds. Stuff too. 
sounds good. In between sounds. I love it. I think it's the best pedal. <laughs> tones aluminum diamond plate construction welded uh, it's not uh, let's see that it's not perfect as far as cosmetically in every way I mean you can see the welds are grinded off on the corners there's some spots that aren't really turn these off spots that aren't really like smooth and perfect looking um, but it's you know it's a diamond plate pedal board it's not made to be perfect. I uh, built it to match my dual rectifier, they, they make a cool set. Um, like I said, it's easy, plug in the power in one spot, plug in your foot switch, plug in your uh, cord to your amp, and you're ready to rock, especially if you're running a Mesa, um, the way the foot switches are on this and the dual rectifier, I guess not the new ones now that they came out with a new one, but anyway, cool setup, it's uh, get rid of this. It's um, closed up on the bottom, got rubber feet on the corners just so you can kind of see how that is. Uh, everything is hard mounted on there, it doesn't come off, um, with the exception of the switch which I velcroed. Uh, Velcro works great on it if you prefer. I prefer bolting things down, you can see these holes. But anyway, uh, with any questions, if you want to email me or whatever, uh, go ahead. Like I said, I'm taking offers on it, so anyone that's interested, uh, just let me know and we'll talk about it. And thanks.